So you said you believe it. Okay, I'm going to have you stand on this side. Okay, so the law of conservation of energy, there is much, there's potential energy here, but it's not really active. It's not waiting. So per this law, if you were to bring this bowling ball up to your chin, I will not let go, I promise. And let go, it would have energy to swing back, but it would not hit you in the face. Well, the law of conservation of energy says that there's never any more energy gained. It is only ever lost and turned back from kinetic into potential energy. Okay, so I would like you to grab this bowling ball. Keep, keep going. Here, will you take a step to your left? I won't, it's got to swing straight. Okay. Can you step back just a little bit more? Okay, I need your face to be right here, though. You got it. You got it. You, you believe Newton. You trust him. You said the law of conservation of energy is accurate. Yeah? Is it a little bit scarier with a bowling ball in your face? Okay, so grab the bottom of the ball with both hands. There you go. Okay, don't, don't just yet. I'm going to ask you to let go of that ball. Not yet, but I'm going to ask you to let go of the ball. Okay, and then stand still. See where you are. You ready? All right, let go. <laughs> Everybody give her a hand. Our faith can be like this. A lot of times we say, yeah, I believe in the gospel. I believe in what it says. I trust the pastors. I've read scripture. Yeah. Yeah. I'm for this. I get it. I understand it. But when push comes to shove, when we let go of the bowling ball, too often we flinch. Too often what was, what we thought strong belief, turned out actually to be something maybe a little bit less. <laughs> 